वेलकम टू एस टी बी एग्जाम फोरम सो वी हैव कम अप विथ चैप्टर ट्वेंटी वन ऑन जनरल अवेयरनेस एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी रिवर्स ऑफ इंडिया ओके एंड वी विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस चैप्टर विद द हेल्प ऑफ मैप्स सो विदाउट फर्दर डू लेट सी द थिंग सो दिस इज अ कॉन्सेप्ट मैप फॉर दिस वीडियो सो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड रिवर्स ऑफ इंडिया विद majorly five points what are the names uh, what is their origin okay and how they are flowing in which direction they are flowing and uh, where they will going to merge okay and the other things like what are their other known names and what are the city city situated near to them and their main tributaries okay so without further ado let's see the reverse first so these are the 10 rivers that at least you should know okay so i will tell you the major location after that we will see one by one in the coming slides okay so indus river is this one so it flows like this next one is a brahmaputra river it flows like this next one is a ganga river it flows like this again yamuna ni parallel to ganga okay then narmada this one and tapti these are flowing from east to west okay next is mahanadi it flows from west to east then godavari this is a godavari river then this is the krishna river and this is the kaveri river okay so and you understood the location where in india they are actually present okay so we will see the first river that is indus river uh, so the origin of indus river is mount kailash okay so at least you should know the origin of indus river is mount kailash mount kailash is where in tibet china okay or if they ask the most specifically region you can say bhokarchu glacier okay it is near mansarovar lake what is the origin bhokarchu glacier okay it flows from north to west and ultimately meets in the arabian sea okay and it has five tributaries jhelum chenab ravi bias satluj okay from which punjab five rivers panj plus ab so five rivers what are these five rivers jhelum chenab ravi satluj okay the important thing is that uh, this bhakra nangal dam uh, is situated on which river it is satluj okay this bhakra nangal dam is the highest dam highest dam in the sense its height is 226 meter okay so bhakra nangal dam is situated at which river satluj river okay and one more important point about indus river is that in tibet it is also known as singhi khamban okay just note it down singhi khamban or lion's mouth because it appear as a lion mouth okay and uh, in hindi it is also known as sindhu river right you have must have heard sindhu bharti bharti sabhyata yes yes these are some important points about indus river so let's see the next river next river is brahmaputra river okay and it origin is again mount kailash but this time its glacier is different its glacier is chima yangdang glacier okay it is here in tibet okay chima yangdang glacier okay you just note it down this name this is also important from the exam perspective chima yangdang glacier okay it flows from north to east yes so the other important thing is that in tibet it is known as yarlung sangpo okay so it is known in tibet sangpo so it up to here it is known as sangpo but when it enter into india it is known as dihang just note it down student this is very important dihang when brahmaputra enter into india it is known as dihang or siang okay and when it enter into bangladesh it is known as jamuna what 
Jamuna. When it enter into Bangladesh, it is known as Jamuna, not Yamuna. Okay. And one more thing, when Ganga enter into Bangladesh, it is known as Padma. What? Padma. So this Padma and Jamuna, when they merges, it is known as Meghna. What? Meghna River. Okay. So this name is very, very, very important as far as Brahmaputra River is concerned. Okay. And uh, its main tributary are Tista and Lohit. Okay. Just take a screenshot of it and uh, just uh, make a note for it. The next very important rivers are Ganga and Yamuna. Okay. Ganga is the longest river of India. Okay. Its origin is Gangotri Glacier in Uttarakhand. Okay. Gangotri Glacier in Uttarakhand. Okay. Where it is named as a Bhagirathi. Okay. Till now it is not known as Ganga. So it is known as Bhagirathi, named as a Bhagirathi. Okay. One more river originate from Badrinath. It is known as Alaknanda. So this blue line river is Alaknanda. So this Bhagirathi and Alaknanda river meet at Deprayag. Where is Dev Prayag? It is in Uttarakhand. Okay. So ultimately they merges and afterward it is known as Ganga. Okay. Afterward it is known as Ganga. The origin for Yamuna river is Yamunotri. It is again in Uttarakhand. Okay. And they flows from north to east and ultimately merges into Bay of Bengal. We will see the details uh, in the next slide. So as I told you, uh, this Bhagirathi and Alaknanda, Bhagirathi originate from what? Gangotri. So they meet at Deprayag near Rishikesh and flows from like this near to Kanpur. Then it merges with the Yamuna river at Allahabad. Okay, at Allahabad, Yamuna and Ganga merges and uh, finally it goes through Patna and enter into Bangladesh with the name as Padma. Okay, just remember these names Padma. Okay, and finally merges into Bay of Bengal. Okay, so this is the important thing. So the other uh, fact that you should know about Ganga River is that it forms the world largest delta which is named as Sundarban at West Bengal. Student, this one, world largest delta, it has come in DRDO Septum 9 exam. Okay, so this is very important. Just note it down. World largest delta is formed by which river? Ganga and it is known as Sundarban and where it is? In West Bengal. Okay, and it tributary Kosi is also known as Sorrow of Bihar because it creates devastating flood in state of Bihar. Okay. And as I told you many times, when Ganga enter into Bangladesh, it is known as Padma River. Okay. Coming to the next river, it is Narmada River. It is lifeline of MP and it flows from Central India to West. Student, this river Narmada and Tapi, they do not form any delta, they form estuaries. Okay estuaries okay so the origin for this narmada river is amar kantak so this much information you should know about narmada only okay the next important river is tapi uh, it is similar it flows from central india to west and its origin is betul mp so it is here betul mp uh, and finally it merges into arabian sea okay the important thing is that uh, the city situated near to Tapti river is Surat. So this question has come in DRDO Septum 9 exam. Okay. This much uh, is sufficient for Tapi river. Okay. The next very important river. Okay. Is Godavari river. Why it is important? It is the second largest river of India after Ganga. This is second largest river of India after Ganga and it is also known as 
अदर नेम लाइक दक्षिण गंगा ओके सो क्वेश्चन कैम कम लाइक दिस विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज दक्षिण गंगा ओके वृद्ध गंगा ओके दिस इज ऑल्सो अन अदर नेम इट फ्लोज फ्रॉम वेस्ट टू ईस्ट एंड फाइनली मर्ज इज इन टू बे ऑफ बेंगाल एंड इट्स ओरिजन इज नासिक ओके जस्ट रिमेंबर इट ओरिजन इज नासिक ओके सो द नेक्स्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट रिवर इज कृष्णा रिवर इट्स ओरिजन इज महाबलेश्वर सतारा महाराष्ट्र एंड इट ऑल्सो फ्लोज फ्रॉम वेस्ट टू ईस्ट ओके एंड फाइनली मर्ज इज इन टू बे ऑफ बेंगाल ओके दिस मच यू शुड नो एट लीस्ट ऑन कृष्णा रिवर द नेक्स्ट रिवर इज कावेरी रिवर वूज ओरिजन इज कोडागु हिल्स ओके एंड फ्लोज फ्रॉम वेस्ट टू ईस्ट एंड फाइनली मर्ज इज इन टू बे ऑफ बेंगाल सो द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग अबाउट कावेरी रिवर इज द डिस्प्यूट देर इज अ डिस्प्यूट बिटवीन कर्नाटका एंड तमिलनाडु फॉर विच रिवर कावेरी रिवर ओके दैट इज इनफ फॉर कावेरी रिवर आई गेस द वेरी नेक्स्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट रिवर इज महानदी ओके इट्स ओरिजिन इज दंडक अरण्य इन छत्तीसगढ़ एंड इट फ्लोज फ्रॉम वेस्ट टू ईस्ट एंड फाइनली मर्ज इज इन टू बे ऑफ बेंगाल एंड वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट हीरा कुड डैम ओके इट इज द लॉन्गेस्ट डैम ओके द हाइएस्ट डैम इज वट भाकड़ा नांगल दिस इज द लॉन्गेस्ट डैम सो लॉन्गेस्ट डैम हीरा कुड डैम इज सिचुएटेड ऑन विच रिवर महानदी रिवर ओके हाउ मच इज द डिस्टेंस अबाउट ट्वेंटी फाइव किलोमीटर इज इज स्प्रेड ओके सो हीरा कुड डैम इज द लॉन्गेस्ट डैम ऑफ इंडिया ओके एंड इट इज सिचुएटेड ऑन महानदी रिवर दैट यू शुड नो फ्रॉम रिवर्स यू कैन ऑल्सो एक्सपेक्ट दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन वेयर यू नीड टू टेल द सिटी विच आर सिचुएटेड नियर टू द रिवर्स ओके सो अलाहाबाद इज सिचुएटेड नियर टू गंगा यमुना सरस्वती एज वी टोल्ड यू हेयर इज अलाहाबाद देन नासिक इज ऑन गोदावरी बिकॉज इट्स ओरिजिन इज ऑल्सो नियर गोदावरी नियर नासिक यस कोलकाता इट इज नियर हुगली रिवर ओके कटक इज नियर महानदी पटना हरिद्वार कानपुर दिस इज ऑन गंगा रिवर then lucknow is near what gomti river delhi as you know it is situated near yamuna river and 75% of water is uh supplied by yamuna river okay and the most important surat is situated on tapi river so this is the tapi river and here you can find surat okay and uh, on shrinagar uh, it is near to jhelum river and ludhiana near to satluj okay so at least this city you should know near to which rivers that you should know okay so uh, that's all for today students uh, we will come with mcq on rivers in india I hope you are liking this series and uh, we will come with more video soon so it is requested you share this video with your friend so uh, which boost our energy and to support us thank you have a nice day